Leviticus chapter 17. It deals with some of the, well, it has an interesting perspective. The rules and the details of sacrificing of animals and the proper handling of blood. Listen to Leviticus chapter 17, verse 11. It says, For the life of the flesh is in the blood, and I have given it to you for your souls, for it is the blood that makes atonement for your soul. We learn some powerful truths from this chapter. All life belongs to the Lord. He made us body, spirit, and soul. Life is his gift, and so is redemption. And God uses, well, he uses blood to give life and blood to bring new life and forgiveness through the shedding of blood. Leviticus 17 is this picture of the pre-cross requirements for blood and for atonement. Our faith is in the shed blood of our Lord, who shed his own blood for the sin, well, the sin of the whole world, if you will, not just yours and mine. That's why we take communion. He physically came. We have the bread, it's his body, it represents it. His blood, the cup, is what cleanses and what saves. Leviticus chapter 17 is all about the blood and all about sacrifice. What can wash away my sin? Well, the old hymn, the old song goes, nothing but the blood of Jesus. So in chapter 17, we read about the pre-cross blood, the pre-cross sacrifice, and how in blood is life. And because of blood, we're given life. It's this mysterious thing that you may have a body, but without blood, you have no life. And so God sends a body and he sends blood, and through it, he brings not just life, but new life through the blood of Jesus Christ. Leviticus chapter 17, a powerful, powerful chapter that talks about life is in the blood.